We were in Scranton, Pennsylvania, uh, along with uh, the United States Marshal Service. We're about to head to a hosting provider, which is hosting a command and control server for the Zeus family of Binance. We're going to go there unannounced, and the reason for this is that we have to do it by surprise. Well, we're ready to go here. Uh, we don't want the uh, individuals that are running the botnet to understand or have any type of, of information that we're coming, because that would guarantee that they would move. Hopefully this action will disrupt not only one, but multiple botnets, and more importantly will allow us to get visibility into the criminal organization which really runs and develops the Zeus family of malware. In the past, crime against banks and against people was with stick-ups. Now it's with mouse clicks. With the advent of online banking, that huge convenience that almost everybody is enjoying at this point, uh, the bad guys are really starting to exploit that. The losses that we've seen, uh, going back to 2005, are estimated at $477 million. The cyber criminal uses often email as a way to deliver what we call malware onto your system to do this account hijacking. Well, what does the malware do? It's actually monitoring your keystrokes. You're sitting at your terminal, uh, maybe accessing your bank account. And it's waiting for you to put in your username and your password, and it steals it as you enter it into the browser. They can then go access your account and steal the money out of it without you even knowing it. This really is a global problem. Uh, and the amount of money that's available or that's been, been targeted by the bad guys really just underscores how bad the problem is. We've sat back and we have taken it. I think we need to go on the offensive. For Microsoft and the financial institutions to effectively combat this type of cybercrime, they need to work together. It's not as easy as finding an individual or even a group of individuals that are, that are causing this problem. It's an intricate network, very sophisticated very, very technical and very hard to identify and therefore very hard to prosecute criminally. Microsoft's experience in going after threats like this extend well beyond just the technology side. Also from a, from a legal action perspective, they, they're experienced in understanding the best way to go after these type of cyber criminals. There's two types of consumers, those who have been hacked and those who are about to be hacked. The easiest way to protect yourself is to keep your computer patched with antivirus. And don't click on links that are unfamiliar to you. It's way beyond just what any one company or one individual can do to stop it. I think we as a, as a society have to band together. And that's not a technological solution. That is a community solution. That is a collaborative partnership solution. We're not simply crying wolf anymore. This is our fourth operation. We're gonna go out there and point out who you are, where you live, and we're going to hail you into court here in the United States or any other jurisdiction where we have the ability to do so. The criminals will see that they have uh, lost a lot of money, um, they've lost a lot of infrastructure, and now they're on the run. We're done here in Scranton today, but the message is clear that if you target our customers, if you target our platforms, we're going to target you.